At the Cincinnati Zoo, it's social hour for the gorillas. We know it's important for gorillas to be around other gorillas. But those who take care of them have entered a legal jungle, now filing a lawsuit in territory practically uncharted. Ever seen anything like this? No. I <laughs> never have ever experienced anything to this degree of, it's just atypical to say the least. Ron Evans is curator of primates at the Cincinnati Zoo. He says they've been forced to file a federal lawsuit to settle a dispute about a gorilla that was born here but now lives in a California conservatory. That's how unusual this is because most all zoos and anybody who really cares about gorillas work cooperatively to do what's best for these guys. Indume is a 37-year-old gorilla. The Cincinnati Zoo loaned him to the Gorilla Foundation in Redwood City, California to be a companion to the world-famous sign language gorilla, Coco. But Coco recently died. The deal was that when Coco passed away, Indume would go to a zoo with other gorillas so he would not have to live in isolation. The Association of Zoos and Aquariums, along with the Gorilla Species Survival Plan, recommended Cincinnati. But the Gorilla Foundation is not giving Indume up. I don't like to speak for the other institution, but they don't feel that it is in Indume's best interest to transfer. Did they give you, I mean, they had to have given you a reason why they didn't feel like this was... Yeah, I mean, yeah their, 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 their opinion is that it's just not for his good welfare. So far, the Gorilla Foundation has not given specifics about exactly why they've put up a fight, but it's thrown a monkey wrench into the plans in Cincinnati. Now, an animal psychologist with this foundation said that the, uh, uh, the gorilla banged and screamed and banged objects for 14 hours straight when he overheard a conversation about to transfer. So far, that foundation has not returned our phone calls. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.